vibe to my professional life you guys it's not as easy as it as it looks or as it sounds hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new on my channel my name is stella i'm an educational lifestyle youtuber based in Wari, nigeria if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in once again and if you're watching me and you have not subscribed to my channel what are you doing please click that subscribe button it is the red button which is down there below and if you want to get notifications whenever a new video pops up on my channel you can click the bell which is right next to the subscribe button and so whenever I upload any video you get notifications and guess what guys subscribing to my channel is totally free of charge and that way you'll be supporting your girls ministry so thank you for subscribing so guys in today's video we'll be talking about a topic that someone actually one of my subscribers one of these family members actually asked me to talk about a while ago he wanted me to to tell him my own experiences transiting from my student life to my professional life or my career life so he wanted to know my experiences and a couple of advice that i can give to young people who are just uh, transiting from being students into becoming professionals or into becoming career oriented so i just um I just summarized my own experience into a couple of points about four to five points and I think I want to just use that to talk about how I was able to transit from my typical sounds it's a big deal and it's worth talking about so I'm very sure you guys will be interested in this video as I'll be sharing my experiences with regards to this while also dropping a couple of advice for those who are just transiting from their student life to their professional life so if you're interested in this video and i know you definitely you'll be interested then you have to keep watching so guys the uh, transiting from the student life to the professional life is a big deal especially for somebody like me who has been a student for a really long time i started working when i had got i had already gotten my master's degree before i started my first official job okay that i can term the beginning of my professional life so for somebody like me who has been in school all my life till that point who has been a student like a real student sitting in the class and receiving classes it's not easy it's a big deal actually transiting from being a student to becoming a professional so the first thing that i do or i did for myself is that i try to stay true to myself you're going to have a lot of distractions you're going to have a whole totally new lifestyle things are definitely going to be different for you for you which will be seen in a later part of this video but you have to stay true to yourself that you are a professional didn't stop you from being who you are i remain stellar i didn't change from being stellar i didn't change my policies with regards to excellence and achieving results i didn't change that because i'm no longer because i'm no longer a student so stay true to yourself tell yourself the truth be realistic about yourself you know what you want you know what you don't want so tell yourself the truth about who you are and transiting from that student life to becoming a professional won't be much of a big deal the shocks you will experience will not be as much as when you lie to yourself then another thing is social and mental balance the truth is when you're moving from being a student into becoming a professional just there are so many things that will be going on with you in terms of your social lifestyle when you were a student you could wake up in the morning and decide that i'm not going for classes today i just want to have also sorry for that distraction so i was saying that you should you know that when you were a student you could just wake up and decide that you want to have spend some time with your friends because you're not responsible for anything actually <laughs> now i'm talking about like the typical students who uh, who has their parents sponsoring them or has some scholarship um backing them up like you have your guardian taking care of you and all i know that there in nigeria we have a lot of students who are already responsible for their finances even while they are students so i'm just using my story for me i had my parents who took care of me and i had a couple of scholarship that i had a scholarship rather that kind of saw me through school so I wasn't really working like working working I did a couple of things then but I, I wasn't financially responsible for my education myself so I'm just talking from that perspective so you could just wake up and you want to have some, spend some time with your friends you just 
want to have fun, right? But when you are a professional, you can't just wake up in the morning and say you want to go and have fun. You remember the money that is involved in having fun. You remember that you're just starting up life. You're just kicking start. You have kickstarting your life. You have a lot of bills to pay. And those bills are not going to be paid by you spending your time in the bar or in one club or something. So I'm not saying you, you won't have fun. But the, the free lifestyle per se will no longer be there. So like you being conscious of the fact that that social lifestyle you used to have when you were a student may no longer be as much as you used to have it. It's very important. If you're aware of that, then you're ready for the shocker. You're ready for it when it comes. Now, the thing about professional lifestyle is that when you're starting, this, these are the challenges that you might face with your social lifestyle. Like, you might even begin to avoid your friends, some of the friends you used to have in school, because you want to stay focused. You want to focus on what you're doing. Okay? So, these are actually this is one of the challenges but if you are aware that these challenges will come it won't be much of a, a big deal coping with it so it's also going to affect your mental balance because a lot of friends will begin to feel that you're no longer giving them the time and the attention that you used to but when you are aware that these things will happen you won't be mentally derailed because you're already prepared for it now another thing is that when you are when you live in your professional life, become more financially responsible. When you were a student, for a typical student, your dad sends you money or one of your guidance sends you money or whatever it is. You get money from somewhere. When you need anything, you call one uncle or one auntie and all of that. But the moment you become a professional, you begin to your own career. You start earning money for yourself. So you become more financially responsible. You know that you have to pay bills, especially if you've moved out of your parents' home to go and live on your own. You have to pay a lot of bills. You have to pay for your light. You have to pay for water. You have to pay so many bills, right? So you're no longer going to be spending excessively and unnecessarily. You're only going to be spending on what is most important. So you need to be aware that you need to, you are going to be uh, more financially engaged. So by virtue of that, you need to be responsible. You need to tell yourself that you need to be responsible with the way you are spending. So your spending habits definitely changes. Another point is self-development. Now, for you to be able to live a successful career life or to kickstart a successful professional life, for me, I had to develop on myself. Now, you were a student. There are a lot of things that, there are a lot of reasoning. There are a lot of ways you do your things that do not suit the professional lifestyle for me i'm a lecturer so i had to develop myself into to suit that profession which is teaching or lecturing as the case may or as you want it to be as you call it whatever you call it teaching or lecturing i'm always mixing those two but for me i feel that they are the same right <laughs> so i had to develop myself to come to the standard of a university lecturer and developing myself to that standard is not necessarily about how i dress or anything but how i communicate and um there are certain things that are unique to a particular career like being a lecturer you are automatically in research you know, automatically into research. So I had to start orienting myself with research opportunities and collaborating with uh, colleagues, listening to colleagues and attending trainings and workshops on uh, uh, teaching and research and all of that. So you have to work on, consciously work on developing yourself. Now this is what ap applies to me. Your own profession, you can check your profession and see or the profession you're going into and see what you need to do to actually to actually live up to the expectations of that particular career that you're going into. Try to put yourself on the track. Don't be in a career and then you are not on track with other people. You you are in, on another lane. People are on. You know, try to be on track. Try to check out what's going on, what's up in that field, and try to key in. You can't just get there all of a sudden. It's a gradual process. So keying in, seeing what your seniors have done, your senior colleagues may have done, and um, you know, trying to develop yourself to be in, on that um, same track so that's what i mean by self-development and that has been working for me in my own career then finally the thing is in as you start your job so many things like i've been saying are going to change how you wake up in the morning the routine as a student you are guided by your timetable or something but as a professional 
Now you're supposed to go to work at 8 o'clock every day, for example. You have to discipline yourself to be able to wake up that early. You have to discipline yourself to be able to stay at work from morning to whenever it is you're supposed to get out of work, your tea breaks and all whatnot in between. Like there's a whole lot of discipline that comes with starting up your career. So you need to discipline yourself. You need to allow yourself to go into that profession, to go into that routine. So imbibe a healthy work habit. Like, cautiously do that. You, you don't have to see it like a punishment. Be aware that you're going into a totally new lifestyle. When I started um, working, when I started lecturing, I, I got married. I was married newly and then I was newly married and then I was also pregnant. So... I was just a couple of months in also a couple of months months pregnant so like everything was happening to me and at the same time i had to imbibe those healthy work habits it wasn't easy for me but then i realized that with the help of my husband i could actually pull through so i would always want him to kind of assist me with because he was more he's more experienced than i am when it comes to working so he had his ways of trying to wake me in the morning like trying to tell me how to go about this whole thing and with time i started enjoying it i know when to wake up when to put fix uh breakfast fix lunch in all of that put the house in order and so many other things. I'm not saying that I'm 100% organized yet. I'm not. I'm still trying. I'm still struggling. But I'm just trying to say that these are some of the things that you can do so that you don't struggle so much. So you don't suffer. <laughs> so a lot of things are going to come as a shock. But if you put all these things in mind, there is a whole lot more. But I feel like these are the most important things. If you put all these things in mind, it won't, the shock will not be as much as if you claim to be ignorant of the effects that uh transiting from work to, from student to work life is going to have on you so to be forewarned is to be forearmed <laughs> if you're a student you just graduated and you maybe you just finished your nyc you're about getting a job or something even as you're seeking for job opportunities make sure that you know that transiting from your student life to work life it's going to come in as a shock for you and just um accept it now before it even comes by so doing you'll be able to move smoothly and even when the challenges come, you can overcome them. Just like me, I still have a whole lot of challenges going on, trying to understand that I'm now a professional. So that word professional means you, you are good at it. <laughs> so you're not a professional. So I need to be conscious of all these things. Like when they come, I know that these things are likely to come and this is how I should tackle them. So I hope that this video is actually helpful. If you found value, please drop value in the comment. Tell me that you found value in this. And please share my video so that others will maybe will, others can also watch and they'll be aware of what we do on this channel. Please give my video a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Please. please. Drop me a lovely comment. Tell me your own experiences transiting from student life to work life. How has it been going for you? Tell us your own, give us your own bit of advice we are reading your comments and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel click the subscribe button i'll see you guys in my next video bye 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 bye